Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I'm going to show you how to build a background in PowerPoint. Um, it's going to be this background that you see here, and it's going to be done all just with rectangles and a few other slight modifications. Um, so let me get into this right here. Um, you know, it, if you could do me a favor, if you think this is a useful lesson, if you could like this video, that'd be great. It helps me understand what you guys uh, are wanting to see more of. Um, I'll also give you uh, the source files here so that you can actually see um, see what this looks like and that's helpful you can see how I name the layers and and you can actually play around with the source file but um, I, and I'll also have a special bonus at the end but let's go ahead and get right into this so this is the slide that I'm going to create and you'll see we basically just have a bunch of layers um, that are shapes and uh, let's uh, let's just recreate this so and probably what you noticed the most was this this curved line and maybe that's the most complicated but um, on the bottom we are going to have a base color and uh, you know actually I, I have these colors saved so I can show you how to copy and paste formats over there so let me just grab these and bring them onto the, the slide we're working on and let's say that our base color Actually, that one's a little more complicated as a gradient, but let's uh, let's name this one in the selection of visibility pane. Let's name this background, and I'm actually going to hide it for right now. So let's create that curved effect, and that's actually just a rectangle to start. So let's do this, and then what we're going to do is format, edit shape, edit points, and then if I click on the little dot where the edit point is. I can actually drag this to create the curve. So let's try that. And then let me grab this curve and we'll see how that is. Okay, so now let's compare that shape to what we had before. And it's actually, it's not too far off. So let's uh, go ahead and apply the color. And this one, um, <clears throat> I'm going to name this, uh, overlay bottom and let's actually let's make that a little bit oh now I'm going to control Z I liked what I had there first um, all right and we had the darker color on top you know what so maybe this is our top one let's just apply control shift copy will pull the formatting over from this box that I had to here now I've got that color. Now let's duplicate this. And this is going to be our bottom color. So let's control shift copy and then control shift paste. And we'll drag that up and we'll send that one to the back. Okay, maybe it's a little too much. So something like that. And actually, let's rename this one the top. Okay, so are we getting close here? Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, so now let's go ahead and um, and we'll add that the background back in. And actually, this needs to be sent to the back. Set to back. And it was a gradient color that was in here. So let's actually go ahead and right click, format shape, and you'll, we're going to, on the fill, do a gradient fill. And we only want three colors. So let's go ahead and delete one of them, drag this into the middle. And actually the direction we're gonna want is left to right. Linear right, okay. Um, so you can't really see that very well, can you? Oh, let me pull this up really quickly. Okay, we're gonna use the eyedropper. Let's just grab that exact same color from, let's say that we want the color to be this background color. And actually, 
All right, so now for the middle one, let's just make that slightly lighter. So it'll do, we'll choose a recent color, but then we'll go to more colors and we'll lighten it up a little bit. And then this final color, we'll do the same thing. We'll do the recent color, more colors, and we'll lighten that up even more. Maybe that's a little too much. Like so. And you can play around with these to get the different gradient effect. Um, but now let's look back at the original. You know, I have a little bit more of a gradient effect there, but that's pretty close. Okay, so when I look at this, I still see that there's something a little wonky here. There's a, The outline is still on the shape, and I don't want that. So let's go to no outline. That's looking a little bit better and we need that box along the bottom. So we'll just go ahead and grab the box, tell it no outline there. And then I think we want the same color as this. So we're gonna do Control Shift C, Control Shift V. And there we have it. Now we have a background that's pretty similar and that was all done with rectangles, edit shapes and modifying colors. So anyway, this is something that you can recreate yourself. I, I did give you the source files, and as promised, I do have a special bonus for you that you can download. Uh, it's got some great PowerPoint uh, resources for you, so you can download that by clicking on the link or in the show notes if you're on, uh, if you're on mobile. And uh, I also included a few other videos um, that I think you'll find useful. You can click on those here. And if you'd like more PowerPoint design tutorials, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm constantly putting out uh, new content on how to design in PowerPoint. Um, anyways, hope you found that lesson useful. If you did, please give me a like and you have yourselves a wonderful day.